It all started one night when I was cu uh, cooking dinner, and I cut up a green pepper. And, you know, I guess maybe artists are a different kind of people because instead of just thinking about what was going to happen with the pepper, I looked at it. <laughs> and there was an absolute incredible scene in front of me and my knife. And I, could, I literally uh, was blown away by the way the seeds were inside of that pepper. And normally, cut up a pepper, get rid of the seeds, uh, you know, cut it up, put it in a frying pan, and that's the end of it. Well, I looked at this green pepper really for the first time in my life. I had cut up very many of them. And I thought, I've never seen anything like that before. And I ran for the camera and started taking photographs. I have found that there is a world inside of these fruits and vegetables that most of us never look at because it all goes in the garbage. In the beginning, I called this a seed series because that was the focus. And after I had painted about 10 of them, I thought, no, 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 that's really lame. We've got to come up with a better title. So it became the Genesis series uh, for obvious reasons. And so the Genesis series has occupied me since 2007. I have done other things. These paintings are egg tempera, and not egg tempura, which is an egg dish that the Japanese people eat, but egg tempera, which is an ancient method of uh, making paint. And it, it goes way back in history to, you know, uh, they found egg tempera paintings in the pyramids and beyond. Um, and I would love to uh, have a conversation with the spirit of whoever it was that got the idea of putting an egg yolk in dirt which basically is what paint is, uh, or paint was. I mean, we've gotten a little more sophisticated than that. Uh, but what uh, is the absolute amazing part of egg tempera for me is the history that I'm connected to, not only of, uh, of painting and you know making art, but actually finding these amazing uh, pigments. So it comes to me in a jar or in a baggie uh, of powdered uh, color. And basically what it is is, um, I mean, if we're talking about the earth colors that come out of the earth, uh, it is colored by iron oxides and things leaching into the soil that create the color that uh, of ochre and umber and you know some of the other colors that we're familiar with from synthetic ingredients that are based in the petroleum, uh, dis, you know, uh, coal and uh, that kind of thing, and they're all made from uh, from in a laboratory basically. But they come as pigments also. And you can get things like thalocyanine and naphthol and you know all these chemical sounding names, which are equally as enchanting for me. I'm not a purist. I will, I will paint with whatever is there. And egg tempera, the word tempera, um, means to mix. And it was an Italian word, I think. Uh, to, to mix, to temper, to temper your paint. And so you take a little dirt and you put some egg yolk in it, and the egg yolk is a binder, and it binds the molecules of the pigment not only to each other, but to the support that you're putting it on. Um, most people find that it, you need to work on a rigid panel. Um, I don't make my own because that is just an incredibly time-consuming and miserable thing to do. I buy my panels, and I have uh, you know, a, a supplier of that kind of thing. 
And a, an egg temper painting um, can be a tedious exercise in unbelievable patience. Uh, you can't change them. So you better know in advance before you start what you're going to paint and how it's going to go together. And so after a while, you learn that you just have to pay attention before you ever begin to get your stuff all organized. Uh, you can make changes, actually. It's not true that you can't. Uh, but uh, it is a, let's put it this way, temperamental, like artists are. It's, a, it's a, not easy to uh, be spontaneous in egg tempera, which is one of the reasons why people who are used to working in acrylics or oil paint or whatever, you know, with great big brushes and splashes of paint, uh, just absolutely cannot stand working in egg tempera. Um, so the, uh, the, the history of uh, egg tempera was that when oil paint was invented more or less in the Renaissance, artists went to use that because it was way easier to do it. And so egg tempera just sort of fell out of use until the end of the 19th century. Uh, there was a lady in Great Britain that got interested in it and slowly uh, there has been a movement that has revived the whole medium so that there are lots of people working in egg tempera now. You can find them online. There's a Facebook a group of egg tempera painters that uh, is very useful. Um, if you're interested in egg tempera, uh, there's lots of information on it. Um, I do workshops. I'm going to do a workshop here in it. And uh, I just really want to thank Dunedin uh, Fine Arts Center and Catherine uh, for asking me to do this show. It really was a major deal in my life. So thank you, dear.